Hello. We've all seen them on the playground, at the store, walking on the streets. They creep us out and make us feel sick to our stomachs. I'm talking, of course, about ginger kids. Oh, sick! Gross! Slam the cat. Welcome to the last video on the Wheat Waffles channel. I've not clickbaited the title. I'm not going to drag this out in some cringe way and have it all be emotional. I'm just telling you how it is. This is genuinely the last video and there won't be any more. Now I wonder why he would be saying that. YouTuber Sam Wheatley's parents say they are exasperated by his hateful online videos. My son is a dangerous online insult spewing out vile misogyny just like Andrew Tate. I know there's going to be people in the comments already saying, So it was all about the money then. You didn't really care about us. Oh well, yes. Of course it was about the money. No, a warning. This video will likely contain lots of swearing and editing and clips out of context because it's biased as f This is Wheat Waffles, a young British human who's been blackpilled. What the fuck are these? Alright. Black pill basically means women are only attracted to tall, handsome men, and this graphic by the Wheat Waffler has the basic black pill philosophy and says game and personality don't exist. And this one shows where he places himself in the delightful pill colour continuum. Got it? Good! And he also does face ratings on a 10 point scale. Oh, but the highest is 8 and the lowest is 2, so it's actually a 7 point scale. And for a mere $25, he'll tell you how to maximise your looks, which is super interesting because of this first clip where he's asked to rate 10 people who are actually couples. I'm going to be more ambitious for this person and say 4, uh, even though I think that he's somewhere in the 3 to 4 range. The biggest discrepancy is this wow. couple here, in that this guy who you rated as uh, equally the ugliest person in the group, he's matched with like the girl that you thought was the hottest out of the entire bunch and this is the couple here's another angle of the fellow that you rated as a four and you rated her to be an eight um, does that change yeah, your mind at all no nothing really changes here what except your ability to accurately rate a man's attractiveness me hopes you offer refunds you will hear this from red pill dating coaches all of the time telling you how important it is to look after your body and be in good physical condition i did very good i am going to outline four times where going to the gym will not work and in fact it will make your situation even worse dust mine ears deceive me if by worse you mean having a stronger healthier body raising self-esteem and helping alleviate depression then yes worse anyways this is why you should not go to the gym manlitism this is when a man of below average height goes to the gym and rather than making him look more dominant more alpha he ends up just looking like a pathetic little aggressive angry leprechaun and women aren't going to find this attractive that's your opinion so if you're in that 5 foot 8, 5 foot 9 range, then you might start looking like a bit of a manlet for anyone who's less than 5 foot 7. This is super manlet territory, and it's definitely not worth putting in the time and effort to go to the gym at this height. Blah, blah, blah. 5'9 is 5 inches taller than the average woman, and you think that's short. Then explain China's population, where the average male is 5'6. Do all the women fuck? the same small group of tall men or do they go overseas to find a man subscribe frameletism this is when your skeletal structure skeletal prevents you from having an aesthetic body and these can be denoted by having sloped shoulders such as these two men here having improper hip waist and shoulder ratios Oh my god. Yeah, women are constantly gossiping about how men's shoulders aren't much broader than his waist or hips. <laughs> Lankletism. Have you ever seen one of those guys where no matter how much they go to the gym, no matter how much they eat or how much protein they take, they simply remain skinny? Yep. And combined with tall height, this can exacerbate this idea of lankletism. So what? So the muscle fibres in your body will be one of two types, either fast twitch or slow twitch. Oh, well, allow me to retort. Most of your fibres are not fast or slow twitch. They're what are called hybrids. <gasps> and the important point to note is, the reason that I'm bringing all of this up is to convince people of your philosophy so they'll give you... Your ratio of fast twitch to slow twitch muscle fibres is determined at birth. Sounds like you're saying it's unchangeable. We now not only know they change, but we know the exact mechanisms. We know how it works. We know uh, the molecular mechanisms. We know the signaling mechanisms. We know exactly what to do to cause it. And if you find someone that thinks there's a debate, it's extremely obvious that they don't really know what they're doing. How interesting. There's a very simple reason for why each of these men isn't attractive, and I can sum it up in just one word. Compensation. Why would you use a movie star who bulked for a role as a poor reason to attend a gym? He did it for his job, and... His wife didn't leave him because of his sick abs.
His life was made worse by Eternals reviews, but not the gym. Getting into a woman's psyche is not exactly your strong suit. Tell me, oh great wise waffler, what else do women want in a man? Low body fat percentage, clear skin, full head of hair. He sings unanimously, unanimously, unanimously. Are you serious? Apparently no bald, rotund, spotty people ever get laid. You know, you can never forget the biological and evolutionary roots of what makes attractiveness. Like, I'm talking things like symmetry. Wait, what? These women have asymmetrical faces, and Waffles tells himself, Oh, gross, get those ugly dogs away from me. I'd rather have a half-decent face and a mirror. Fun fact. There's men on the list I found also, and one of note is Brad Pitt, who had kids with another grotesque, asymmetrical, unattractive pig named Angelina Jolie. And... Just look at what these freaks created with their asymmetrical ugliness. Ah! And, uh, and, and there's more. The following montage is from the Waffler's video. Sorry, men do not age like fine wine. Don't wait for 30. I feel better. First thing to note is he compares Matt in the wild to him in a TV show with makeup and flattering lighting. Bitch. This is Matt age 46. And this is Matt age 51. Now which one looks better? Matt struggled with alcohol and opiate addiction and me thinks that contributed to him looking like shit and getting fat was stuffing his face with food he doesn't need. I have a flaw, big deal. Like if you ask women if they like a dad bod, then they'll say like, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, um, like that's what they'll say, you know, and the picture they have in their mind is some guy who actually has a top 20% physique and that's what they think is a dad bod. Oh, me gets it. Women are stupid. So then we can't trust women to tell us their opinion because of their dumb, dumb brains, right? Well, no, but I'm saying that a lot of women will go into casual sexual encounters uh, with this like hippy dippy, uh, feel good sort of mindset, but they then wake up in the away. morning after and then regret it and then be like oh, actually that was a massive mistake no. and then that's why a lot of women actually get diagnosed with depression because uh, they have all of this casual sex no no, no 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 feminists tell them no 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 the waffler thinks there's causation between women having casual sex and depression but remember the last survey women were too dumb to know what a dad bod is but now they're fully capable of reporting symptoms of depression a woman who's overweight uh, might actually be considered attractive like as long as we're not talking to the extreme here like i'm talking about 20 to 25 percent body fat on a woman overweight 25 percent body fat for a woman is not overweight and in reality where he rarely visits most people don't take scales and tape measures on dates to ensure proper waist to hip ratios but as for guys if their body fat percentage is high like even if we're talking 20 percent or above like there's a huge disparity that's not that much that's that's well higher um you know fair enough it might be like average if you look at broader society like in america he said 20% body fat is high, then 25% body fat for a man. That's that's well high. Seconds later. It might be like average. How do averages work? Because it can't be Fucking both. Can it, Waffles? Nope. Me approaching two girls to try get them in a uni girls interview video. Me and my friend, we're actually recording a video today. Mm -hmm. um, it was literally on our break, sitting over there on the bench. But um, we saw you like sitting here and was like, oh my God, you'd literally be perfect for it. Basically, <laughs> rating guys out of 10. <laughs> it's a really interesting concept. We've already recorded eight so far, so we literally need two more. I mean, I'm good, do you want to do that? I think you should do it. Not for me, thanks. But you can be one. Because we are desperate. We'll pay you a tenner each. Please, yeah, you could do it. <laughs> I'm good. The ladies politely say no. He offers them a tenner each and they politely say no. We don't want to be in your YouTube video. And the creepy little asshole uploads the hidden camera footage anyway. So then this little gem of a video appears. And I'm encircled by these five security guards now. We've been getting complaints that you've been going around harassing the girls on the campus. Who's made these complaints and what have they said? That you asked girls to be in a video, they said no, and you published it anyway? But of course, the black pillar wants you to believe is because when ugly men approach women, they don't like it. Pretty sure I've heard this before. Oh yeah, it's in this video where he makes the assumption that this woman is hysterical because an ugly man talked to her in a car park. But we don't know what he looked like, do we Waffles? Nope. 
For all we know, this guy could have been a well-toned, naked hunk with a chainsaw. I go to the campus and I approach lots and lots and lots of girls. Why for the lady one don't talk about it maybe don't call you sometime? Yeah, I don't think so. Hey there, poor lady, I'm about to talk about it, could give you a call sometime, man. Oh, please. You mean I'm talking about it'll get on your feet, you know, look a little better on my, my bed. I'm talking about I'm giving them digits, man. I had been accused of harassment, and that resulted in my expulsion from the campus. Just to clear up one potential misunderstanding, I didn't get expelled from the university. A better word maybe to use is banished or removed. Essentially, I'm not allowed to come back. Get ready for a surprise! But I'm 100% certain that if I was enrolled in a course at the university... Re re rewind! If I was enrolled in a course at the university... There would have been a very, very serious implications to follow. I almost definitely would have been expelled. Methinks it's pretty serious going to a university you do not attend to record women secretly, and you're lucky you weren't arrested. Please start comment with password so I know you watched. You gotta love the irony of a man saying he's a grifter, quitting YouTube, and his fans like that video. And is there anything else you want to say? Oh yes, there is one more thing. You know, Freud died at age 83 still asking one question. What do women want? Hmm. Wouldn't it be strange if you were the one man on Earth finally able to answer that question? Yes. The end. Like the bloody video.